What's going on everybody? Average Arcader here. Now before I get into the review, I just want to tell you guys real quick about a new segment I'm starting for the channel. Now as you guys know, I love the maps and add-ons that we play on the marketplace. But I wanted to start showing people a little bit more about the awesome studios that put a lot of work in some of these add-ons for us to enjoy. So I decided to come up with a segment I'm calling the Spotlight Segment, where I choose one of the awesome studios to be our Spotlight Studio, and for that period of time, which should last around a month, each week I shall cover one of their games, either in a Let's Play or Review or both, and do an interview with one of their awesome team members. That way we get to truly see a little bit more about these awesome teams, as well as look a little deeper into the awesome content that they create. So the very first studio that we shall be doing is Everbloom Games. I just want to thank them for working with me. We had to do a lot of back and forth to get this going, but we're going to have a lot of fun with it, and I hope you guys enjoy. This very first review for this segment will be their latest release, Prison Escape. I hope you guys enjoy. Prison Escape is one of the latest games from the awesome people over at Everbloom Games. In this game, they focus on stealth gameplay. So if you like stealth games like me, you'll definitely want to check this one out. In the game, we play as Danny, someone who has been hired to sneak into prison to help break out a very dangerous criminal. During this, we do a whole lot of stealth puzzles as well as a few jumping puzzles. And I must say, I did have a really good time with this game. So, like I always do in these reviews, I'm going to break down the sound, music, gameplay, as well as replayability of this add-on to see if it's worth anyone going and checking it out. Let's get started. First up is sound and music. Almost all of Everbloom Games' maps and add-ons have spectacular sound and music, and Prison Escape is no different. All the different sound effects really help bring to life everything that you're doing. And the music, oh, the music sets the tone perfectly. But what really steals the show for me is the voice acting. Everbloom has always made sure they've put voice acting in their add-ons, and I truly appreciate that. For someone like me who has a reading disability, being able to sit back and just watch and listen instead of read really helps us get immersed in the add-on. Good voice acting can just break or make an add-on or game and they always nail it. The characters really do come to life with these awesome voice actors. Things are good. I take it the Prison Guard Volleyball Tournament's going well? Very well. On you go. This is for you. Hey, this thing works. Let's move on to gameplay. Now, as I stated earlier, this is a true to form stealth game. Most of the gameplay is going to evolve around you basically doing a multitude of stealth puzzles, sneaking around guards to make it to the next section. And let me tell you, this can get really hard. They really program the AI well for this because if you even slightly in their, <laughs> their sight, they're going to see you and they're going to catch you. Even if you move too quickly or to get too close to them, or even if you're not sneaking, they can hear your footsteps and catch you that way too. It's very, very nicely done and it can be frustrating at times. So a little tip I like to give people is this. 
if you can see them nine times out of ten they can see you so you really need to be careful when you're trying to turn corners i would suggest playing in third person that way you can get a little sneak peek around the corner before you go because you really need to take your time you need to pay attention to where all the guards are learn their paths so that you can make it to the next section i love it i love that it really can get you thinking Sometimes that's the best way to play a game. Even if it's a little frustrating, it's so much more satisfying when you finally do make it through. Now, replayability is a little bit tricky with an add-on like this. If you like stealth gameplay, you'll probably get one or two good playthroughs through this before you start to get bored. It's kind of hard with these story-based ones because once you know the story, once you get through and enjoy it all, it's kind of hard to go back through. Now this game also has collectibles that are scattered across the map that you probably will miss some your first playthrough through, so you may want to go back through to get them all. It's not bad replayability, but it's not high replayability because of the nature of the add-on. Once you're done, you're kind of done. Nothing opens up. There's no free roaming. You're done. So it's not the best replayability, but it is okay. All in all, I think this is an amazing add-on and I truly enjoy playing through it. I would say that I would recommend picking this up, especially if you're somebody who likes stories, who likes playing through things like that, most importantly, who likes stealth games, this is worth picking up. It's been made well, a lot of hard work definitely went into it, and you can truly enjoy yourself with this map, even though I feel that the replayability is a little low it still is worth picking up because of how much fun it's going to be clearing through this whole entire thing well that's the end of the review but i am not done with this add-on i enjoyed it so much that i'm going to do a let's play on it this week as well so make sure to stay tuned for that as well as our first interview with one of the team members from everbloom games also coming out this week so make sure to hit those notification buttons so you guys don't miss a thing. But until next video, I'm Average Arcader, and I want to thank Everbloom Games once again for being our spotlight studio for this segment. All right, guys. Average Arcader, out. <laughs>